welcome back to our channel. Yeah, my wife gonna tell you right now what I'm going to cook right now for my daughter Paulina. This happened to be one of the food that she's been asking me for a very, very long time. Yes. So today I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna put a little twist in it though, but Paulina doesn't know. Doesn't matter. Can you tell them what kind of food is this? Yes, it's a beef stew or jarkoye in Russia. And it's gonna be with eggplant, please, just in case if you want. <laughs> As soon as so, keeping it surprised until the end, you're telling her right now. So we started the fire. It's very easy, but extremely delicious. So let's go and start. And we will take you step by step. As usual, right? Yes. Let's go. As my wife mentioned before, we're gonna uh, cook stew. Beef right? stew. Okay, so in Bukharian we call this thing Oshi Bojong. All the Bukharian, <laughs> my all, all my Bukharian fans, they know what Oshi Bojong means. Okay, so we're gonna use shin and I'm gonna use axtail. That happened to be one of my favorite. And then we're gonna use eggplant and potatoes, okay? One big onion you're gonna use. Onion is uh, cut already. So now what I'm gonna do, since I already started the fire over there, I'm gonna go put the pot on a fire and put oil. First, we're gonna put the onion and then we're gonna start Cutting the meat. I'm going to put oil approximately that's good, this much. The oil is nice and hot, so I'm going to put the onion right now. The onion is cooking. Let's go and, and uh, prepare the meat right now. Axtel, look at this beauty. Oh, the onion looks like it's already. Now in this food, everything has to be cooked very slow, especially the meat. So now I'm gonna add the meat. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to cook the meat at least close to one hour before we're gonna put the potatoes and the eggplant. Okay, so I'm gonna show you once in a while what's going on for right now the same thing is this don't make too uh, high fire because then it's gonna get the uh, dry so you have to put it in your house let's say if you use your uh, oven uh, stove fire maybe like number three or number four for now i would rather you should use number three because you want to cook it at least for one hour just in the same position right now okay so it's going to create more juice and everything so i'm going to show you as we go along i'm going to show you What's going on? We're just gonna cover it right now and try to leave it on a low fire. This type of food, you gotta cook the meat at least, at least an hour, just by itself, before you put the potatoes and eggplant and everything else, because you want it to be very, very, very soft, okay? So let's see what's going on. It's been going on for maybe like 20 minutes, I would guess. So let's see what's going on. Oh my God, it smells good. Just like that. You see how much juice you created? You have to let it go. Maybe another 40 minutes before we're gonna continue doing the rest. You know, season this thing and then put the potatoes and the eggplant and everything else. For now it's doing good. Just make sure the fire is not too high because you don't want it to get dry, okay? So we're gonna close it. And we're gonna check once in a while on it. So another 40 minutes I would guess. It's approximately 30 to 35 minutes past by. What I'm gonna do is right now, I don't want it to get dry, so I'm going to add a little bit of boiling water, okay? Because I want it to continue cooking, but I just don't want it to get dry. Just a drop. You see how much it became? One hour passed by. Let's see what's going on. Oh, looking good. Look at that. Look at this beauty. See, one hour I was cooking the meat by itself. Now we're going to go prepare the potatoes. Potatoes, you can cut, cut any shape that you want. I like to cut them this way, okay? The potatoes are cut. Now we're gonna put the potatoes and approximately 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes later we're gonna put the eggplant because potatoes will take a little bit longer, eggplant will take a little bit shorter so let's go put the potatoes 
and we're gonna put salt and pepper, mix it up, and then wait 10 minutes, and then we're gonna add eggplant, okay? So let's go. Okay, guys, let's add the potatoes. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna add salt and, and black pepper, approximately this much salt, and I'm gonna taste it again. And then if it's missing, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Black pepper. We're gonna put boiling water, approximately four cups, but just enough to be able to cover everything, okay? And if you need more later on, going forward, you can add a little bit more. Okay, so now we're gonna mix everything. We're gonna put a couple bay leaves. That's it. Good to go. In about 15 minutes, we're gonna add the eggplant. When I was a kid and I was eating this food, you know, I come from a family of eight, five brothers and three sisters. See this part? This part? We all used to fight for this part. Who's gonna get this part, the back piece? So this time, <laughs> looks like I'm gonna eat all five of them because I don't think my kids and my wife understand that delicious part of it, okay? So that's how we're gonna cut the eggplant. You see this? This is the way I cut the back piece. Try to cut big piece, not too small. See, just like that. Again, my delicious part of it, the back piece, the most delicious part out of it. Now we're gonna go and add all this eggplant inside the food, okay? So let's go. We have to let it cook for at least an hour or so. It could be even more, okay? So we're just gonna take I'm gonna taste the salt, see if anything is missing, and add salt if I need to. Otherwise looking good, we let it go for an hour. Alright, approximately 40 minutes passed by since we add the potatoes and eggplant was a little bit later. Looking good, I would say another 20 minutes. We're gonna take the food out. Let me smell. It smells amazing. Smell. How does it smell? <laughs> so good. Guys, don't forget it's Polina's favorite food, okay? <laughs> Let's see how we're gonna taste. Let me taste it. Oh my. Oh my, it's only one good food. Okay, we'll see you soon. Our food is ready. We're gonna take it out right now. Let's see, you wanna show them about how good it looks inside? Oh, it looks good. That's it, come back. Yeah, take it very lightly. You don't want it to fall apart. It's amazing. It's good, huh? Okay, so we're gonna test it. You wanna go first? Because yes. I'm more hungry. I would like to go first myself, but I'm actually gonna taste the potato first because I think this is one of my favorite things in this food. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna potatoes taste potatoes. are really melting in your mouth. Oh wow. Mm. Pauline, mm. I know it's your favorite food. And guys, before we even start doing <laughs> the testing, Pauline says, guys, don't take too long because I'm gonna shut <laughs> the video. I'm too hungry. Okay, I'm gonna try a little piece of meat. Mm. I don't know which meat wow. I wanna try. Okay, let me try this one. Wow. Let me try that. Look, look how it's falling apart. Wow. The meat is literally melting in your mouth. Meat, guys, my favorite thing. Meat. You know what oh. I'm gonna go for? Look, eggplant. Oh, I didn't taste the eggplant meat. Wow. 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 Guys, it tastes amazing. Oh my god, it's so good. Wow. It's like one of those, like, you know, comfort food. Okay, let me try the eggplant. Where's the eggplant? Right here. I'm mm -hmm. going to take the back, back piece. Remember, guys, when I was telling you the back piece? Let me try this back piece. Okay, okay, I'm sure it's cold outside. It is cold outside. <laughs> wow. The eggplant is amazing. I mean, it's amazing, the eggplant. <laughs> wow. Guys, the food is amazing. My wife is freezing. Yeah. Are you cold outside? I'm freezing and hungry. 
And this concludes our video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, click the notification bell to get notified when we post our videos. And uh, don't forget to share with your friends. Don't uh, forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and if you like this recipe. And please also let us know if you recreate. We always like to hear your feedback. And, and another delicious and successful food. And uh, guys, we want to say thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. And if you want to check me out in LB Diamond at 23 West 47th Street, anytime, you're more than welcome. If you need anything, please stop by. If you need advice, you can always ask me. Guys, great to be with you. Stay safe. Let us go enjoy our food that we cook right now. We hope to see you next time. Take care, guys. Salute.